Good morning. It is for something. It is bright and early because we got a little bit of snow last night. It's just a dusting, but it's just enough where I need to do something with it. So I'm going to run to the winter shop right now, grab the truck, fill with salt, take care of that. Then I'm going to meet up with Daryl. We're going to try to do a little bit of work on the F-350, but then we're going to run out to my friend Ryan's shop. So Ryan owns Town and Country Landscape. If you follow the videos, you did meet him last year on a job where he was doing landscaping and I poured the patio. And then in the winter, I met up with him again because he uh, he runs a snowmobile race team. So we did a video in Fargo, North Dakota, and he now has a facility right at his shop. So on his land, he has a professional snowmobile track and he's hosting races this weekend, which is pretty cool. We're going to go there today. He's going to give us a little bit of a tour. He's going to show me what's going on because I am going to return there on Saturday for the races. It should be a really fun day. So I'm going to take this trash out, grab some coffee. We need to get to work. Time for work. Why are you so lazy? Come on. How much garbage do we make? Good work. Yep, so that's what we got right there. It's a dusting, but it's got a little ice underneath. It's supposed to snow on and off. Just real light all day today. It's it's really not that cold. It's probably about 28 degrees right now. So it should melt pretty easy with a little bit of salt. Morning Natalie. How are you? <laughs> Look at you, you're in a good mood. Thank you. I spent like. I'm already on YouTube and TikTok. I'm on Charlie Barron's. Me and him did a skit together. Oh, when he did the thing for Quick Trip. Yep. Yeah. We'll see you next time. Uh, I don't know we that I. I don't know that I head. saw it or not. I saw him do one for Quick Trip. Yeah. It was pretty good. With... Morning, Ms. Z. How are you? I'm. I'm great. How are you? I'm cold now. All right, I am at the winter shop. It is pitch black here. I mean, it is dark. There is no lights anywhere around here. But I'm gonna fire up this truck and I'm gonna pull the plow off real quick. It's just easier to salt with no plow in there, especially all those little driveways I do. We're disconnected and ready to go. Gotta get some heat going in here, come on. I'm at the yard, and for some reason, I think Daryl's here. Morning, sunshine. Good morning. I got a load salt. I'm in a big rush because I'm supposed to take my kids to school in like 40, 40 minutes. Okay. Less than that. So the sidewalks need to get salted over by the condos right now. All right. That second one pretty full? Yeah. That's good. All right, I gotta go. I'm over here salting. Nothing special. Same old, same old. It's just kind of patchy here and there. Just the coating. Mike's here. I'm gonna say good morning to Mike. Morning. Morning, how we doing? Good, I thought you were never gonna show up. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 6 30. I didn't see. I was like, Mike's probably sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was getting salt. <laughs> yeah. Ladies in her window. There's a lot of people here at the condos that are really, really picky. I'm going to do a video just talking about that one of these days. Should you work for condo associations or homeowners associations? There's a. It can be tricky. Pretty loud. Uh, you were way over there and I heard you over here. I know I gotta change the backup alarm because they're not gonna love that at two in the morning. <laughs> they're not. I'm gonna get one of those. You heard those ones yeah. that go 
Yep. <laughs> like the white noise backup exactly. alarms, they're less annoying. Oh, yeah. But you should still have something. Oh, yeah, because of some old ladies coming out. What do you got left over there? These are all done. I did the whole game around this way. They're all done. Oh, all right. Yep. Last driveway, we are out of here. And that's it. Back to the yard. Back at the yard, I'm just emptying the excess back into the pile. I don't think there's much in there, but I want to save save it if I can. Okay, bye. Bye. Hi, Daniel. Bye. Hi, Grace. Bye. <laughs> what is that? Lights yeah. for my truck. Bye. Bye. So Daryl's with me now. I just stopped back at the house. I ordered these lights for the bumper off Amazon and I got an email that they came. So I'm grabbing them now because we're heading to the shop. I never really shopped on Amazon much until like a couple months ago. Man, it's, they make it too easy to buy stuff. Because once they have your information, you push one button. You, actually, now you swipe it. You swipe the purchase, and it's, you're done. And then it's on its way. It says they're pretty bright. They're flush mount, so I got to cut out a square uh -huh. in the bumper. And we'll mount them right in there. They look pretty rugged. They're rough country. I heard of them. So did I. Daryl's going to rinse this one back out again. And I'm going to go start cutting on that bumper. I'm going to see how these lights are going to fit. Looks like they're going to fit just right in that bottom corner. Is that why you cut it out? So you can set the lights so they're not sticking right out? Yeah. Cool idea. What made you think of that? And then I made this Daryl proof. I mean, oh, you gotta be kidding me for the plug. Oh. This is nice. Ha oh. ha. And then the strobe light will go right here. Should look pretty cool. Perfect. Perfect. Out. How's that? That looks nice. It's getting there. Yeah. It's a lot of work. Yeah, it is. It's took me like a, about an hour so far. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> What's yeah. this pocket for? Uh, look inside and you'll see. Try to make it oh, okay. employee proof. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> Those are the first things to go the first time you miss the trailer. Yeah. Crunch. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so now it's indestructible <laughs> for the most part. Yeah. I got to do the license plate thing, and then that's pretty much it. Then we're going to prep it and get it ready for paint. I'm going to try to paint it tomorrow. Yeah. And then wire it on Monday, and it should be done. Cool. All right, I'm going to get back to cutting hey, it's all good, and right? drilling. Yep. All right, then we'll see ya, thank you. Yep, see ya, man. I'm gonna cut this rectangle out for the license plate. I can't, I wanted to move the license plate over this way and get it away from the hitch a little bit, but I really can't because there's a vertical brace. That vertical brace is right here and it doesn't fit over on this side of it. So, yeah, the, the trailer could come up and go in here and hit the license plate but the license plate is going to have plate steel behind it so really it's not going to i mean it could like scratch the license plate itself but it's not really going to do any damage so it is what it is it would have been nice to move it over here but it's not really that big of a deal I don't have any 
angle iron right now. I got to run to Menards and get another couple pieces. So I'm going to drill all the holes for these lights and then these lights on both sides. And then I'm going to, actually, I'm not going to drill this yet. I'll weld this in and then drill it because I don't know what center is going to be exactly. So we'll wait on this one. I have a pilot hole drilled for the big one. Now I'm gonna bring the five ace through. That's the last hole, finally. So now we need to go get some angle iron. I'll weld that up and then the bumper's pretty much done and ready to start prepping for paint. It's a lot of work. It's a lot more work than it looks like, I can tell you that. I gotta go to Menards, you coming with? Sure. Why not, it's a free ride, right? This is deja vu, back at Mills Flea Farm, buying the exact same thing I bought yesterday. <laughs> they need more salt here. I know, there's not Wow. <laughs> and people wonder why our concrete falls apart up here. That's, that's bad. I know, that's bad. That's why that aluminum rots out under there. Two more of the same thing. He's like, uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> you could have told me to look outside. Yeah, who was that out there, huh? Let me take your truck. Yeah, right. Yeah. Thank not you. Not for a pack of shoes, no. <laughs> have a good day. <laughs> uh, it's not really that heavy, Daryl. It is. No, it's not. Come on. We're back. I'm going to weld up this angle iron, put the plate on, get that all finished up. And then we're gonna grab some lunch and then we're gonna visit my friend with the snowmobile track. Those are nice welds. Thank you. Not as good as yours, though? No, yours is nice. Oh. We need to get the Bobcat, can't call it just the Bobcat anymore, the skid loader. Uh, we gotta get that banner back down. We gotta get what? We gotta get that banner back off the wall. Why? Because the guy that's running the snowmobile race, he said we could hang the banner at the race. Right, then what snowmobile race? There's snowcross races in Hartford this weekend. No way. Yeah. Really? Did you watch a video last year when I went to North Dakota? Yeah. Same type of races. <sighs> yeah, so we need to get the banner down because we're going to go visit him today. He's going to show us around. Are we going to go on the snowmobiles? Oh, come on. Come on. He watches the videos. He would never let you go yes, on the snowmobiles. No. No. Once he sees you, he's going to be like, get him out of here. Yeah, right. Hopefully it starts. All right, lift lift me up in the skid loader. Uh, just to my family, uh, I love you guys. If it's my last day. I just put this thing up, now I gotta take it down. But it'll be worth it. Okay, I gotta go over there.
Hold it. Okay. Okay. Bunch of blows off the wall and all those snowmobiles running over. Sticks right to some guy's face. He goes over the double and crashes and breaks his arm. That would be terrible. <laughs> they, they, they got a slow motion of him going through the air with the victory sign right around his head. <laughs> that, would <be> <laughs> that, that would be bad press. <laughs> Who hung that sign? <laughs> uh, Daryl. <laughs> I can play for it. He wrecked the whole weekend. Oh, the whole thing. Like, sorry, it's not that bad. <laughs> it's okay. Like, Daryl, you got that all uh, secure good? Oh, yeah. It's, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Just gotta clean it all up tomorrow. We'll shape all the metal, clean it really super good, and then I'll prime it and paint it. Look at how nice that is. I know, it looks really good. I like it, I'm happy with it. I just talked to him, he said he's got two warming up for us. Oh, sweet. <laughs> yeah, in your dreams. <laughs> oh, <come laughs> yeah. my. Sorry to disappoint you. How do you know? Get out there, he's like, here, <sighs> try him. His super expensive race snowmobiles. Yeah, he'll never let us ride those. Yeah, this is it. There's a snow cannon right there. I'm going to talk to him first. See, he uses snow X's too. I wonder if he likes them. Wow, he's got the old style and the new style. I know. Yeah, this is a Helix. Yep. Like I have, and then that's one of the older ones, the V Maxes. I was gonna see. Man, look at what he had to make. Wow, that's insane. Bleachers. I know that is so cool. That is pretty cool. You guys are the mobile bleacher guys. Yep. That's awesome. You, you guys go all over the Midwest and... Pretty much. Yeah. Uh, last year we were anywhere from North Dakota to West Virginia. You know how much work this has to be? I know. Oh, that's the guy. Right there. How's it going, man? It's closer than Not much. <laughs> Yeah, he's the he's the mechanic for Ryan. That's the mechanic for him. Mm, yeah, the guy in the black sweatshirt. Really? I forgot everybody's name, man. It's it's been a while. Like he's one of the most ambitious people I've ever met. As you can see, he's like, you know what? I'll just buy a bunch of snow cannons and make my own track and then host a race. It's like, like who does that? That's awesome. Though. Look at that. Oh, it is. Yeah, he's got everything, man. Look at all these lights. That is. That's a that's a man, that's a big track. It goes all the way back I there. Look at the how it comes around. I know, he's got he bought his own that's his. He bought it. His own groomer. Like he owns it. That's crazy. I know. How's it going, man? What's up? It's good to nice see you. See you. you got it tuned up good? Yeah? Is this the same kid? No, no, no. I, I can't see, obviously. I couldn't no, even. No, this is actually the mechanic. Now it's just hard. He's young. He's only 23. 23? Yeah. That looks so fun, man. So is the schedule pretty much like what I experience? Yeah, I think like so. the like mornings are like the morning. all the uh, heats and all that, and yeah, then the races the are at night after dark. And then Saturday night's gonna be cool. He's doing a dominator race. Yeah, Saturday's when I'm gonna be here. Oh, Yo, so you'll yeah. see it all then. Yep. Yeah. How's it going? One of the busiest times today. 
Oh, I know. No, I didn't come to hang out. I just came to yeah. see what you got going yeah, on. I'll be, got going I'll on. be back on Saturday. We went out to dinner last night. Like, hey, you should see if Ryan's coming. That's when I yeah, texted yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yep, we yep. I watched our video from the last last year. Yeah, it came out pretty good for being that cold out. I watched it a few times, but I was bored on the plane. And I like watched it again. Then that's when we, I think video. the favorite part is like, man, there's always something to do on these things. <laughs> well, that's 100. He's like, he it's walks a... by. What's wrong with this thing now? <laughs> well, it's 100 percent true. Oh yeah. There's there's oh, like always see. something going on. No. Always oh. something going on. Jeez, you should see the mess. So. Yeah, so this is it, man. Way bigger track. You weren't here last year, right? I've never been here. So Well, I, I bought that, like, I bought a plow yeah. from you years ago. And That's the, the only time I've been trailer, yeah. But the last year, the track was literally just in this bowl, right in the top of this back berm right here. Like it's, cause it's It didn't go around those trees back there? No, dude, it was oh, right in this bowl. Oh, it's way oval. bigger like, than oval. Yeah, this it's was way bigger. The start line was, like, right here by the bales here. So it was real small because it was 60 degrees last year. This is really cool. It's way cool. bigger. Yeah, it's really dude. cool. So... You wait to dominate. You want, we're gonna peak all these jumps up. It's gonna be a show. Yeah, what's, that'd be what's cool. So it's basically like pro riders just one on one. It's battles. like oh, the jumps are real steep, so they're flying through the air. Like it's one on it's it one can't on get one. Too crazy yeah. with the juniors and stuff. Yeah, yeah, of course. So yeah, it's just like one on one and yeah, battle it out and you go down a bracket. Yeah, oh, that's pretty five cool. Five grand takes all. Really? Yeah. Man. Ryan, you should enter. Yeah, right. <laughs> you have to have the amulets right by yeah, the first right. jump ready. <laughs> All you can do is fall in the snow. It's not like you're going to hurt yourself. Oh, yeah. Give me a break. Hey, hey, this is a can of gooch. That's what I was just saying. This is Ryan. I saw you riding around. That's pretty cool. Hey. Nice to meet you, man. French and I are not riding. Yeah. 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 I'll do a ball. On the ground. Yeah. Hey. Shop. Wow. This this How's it going, guys? This is super cool. Is this what? No, it's a different one. Yeah, I was gonna say this looks way different. <laughs> yeah. Did you you just traded it in and got a different one? You sold it all. The team already had this. Oh, okay, gotcha. Is, is this bigger? Yeah, it's 53. This is gigantic, man. It's tall, too. So is there a second level? Oh, yeah. Storage sleds up and down, eh? Rider lounge up there, and then there's a lounge up here. That's awesome. Kind of like the one you saw. Yeah, similar, yeah, I'm sure. But the only difference is, like, you know, is the tailgate goes up, this one, like, lifts. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like sleds up top. Like NASA, how they come up and down like that? Yep. Why do you have so many snowmobiles in here? Three, three riders, three sleds a piece. Three plus, sleds a piece? Plus, plus practice sleds, plus my kid's sleds. Man. <laughs> this is going to be, this just equals a lot of broken stuff. He was, uh, that's a lot of snowmobiles, eh? He's on soft. He's on soft. He's on soft. You want to come in? Yeah, let me check that out. Like, that's what he's saying. Sorry, so. This is just like clutches laying all over like nothing. You go through clutches pretty often? We got clutches for everything. Yeah. So. This is so cool. This is super nice, man. It's the, the rail, same, same thing. The sleds up and down and bring them in and out down there. Oh, right? that's sweet. Yeah. yeah. A little different, Ryan, huh? So yeah, it is, man. This is. Pull them in and out. And yeah, yeah. Well, some of the teams, this they'll have like a 14 foot slide out, like four foot slide out. Really? So then they can angle the sleds and get them in here a little bit. So when their two sleds are here, work out. It is a little tight, but this one doesn't have that. The next one will. Well, this so, this particular weekend, this is like perfect for you, eh? Oh, yeah. You can fix yeah, anything. Like, there's so many sleds <laughs> that are coming in with the other trailers yeah. too. Yeah. They're coming in out here every after every time they're out. Yeah. Yep. Hey, you remember like when we were there and you looked like his trail and then you like videoed all the other ones? Yeah. That's just pretty much they're all set up like yep. this. Just they have that bump out, some of them. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah, sounds good. All right. All right, cool, man. Sounds good. All right, I'll see you tomorrow, hopefully. It's the break. Yeah. Well, that's it right there, Midwest Snow Cross Series. Look at this thing. Can you imagine all the damage you could do with this? I know. Now I see why they why they bank him like that. You see that when he comes over the jumps? Okay. 
I would definitely do that, wouldn't you? Whoa. They had some they had some really big jumps in North Dakota. Really? I think he crashed. Yeah, he did. He crashed. Oh, they're yelling. The sled's busted up? Oh yeah. The skis or what? Remember you said it's always something. Oh no. Walk, can we walk over there and take a look? We could tell he crashed, but we can't see nothing. I know. I see them fly up. He hit that hard. Yeah, we were we were standing there. We seen you go up like this, and then he just disappeared. And then we heard some yelling and cursing. I and I was I was like, I think he crashed. I overshot the I overshot the triple by a good sled and a half. So is it just the, is it just that that snapped? Yeah, I think so. That, Dude, we got lucky. Yeah, we hit a rock. <laughs> I know, it literally face first into a rock. Whose sled is this? This is J Dog Baptist sled. That's why I'm out here. Oh, right there, right here is all right. Yeah, right here is all bent up too. Yeah, it don't look too bad though, really. Nah, I think no. she's all right. Smoke the rock. At least I got a good crash on right now. That's my first snowmobile crash. Really? Yeah. Oh, dude, I was not riding that out. <laughs> I was not riding that out. No, you were like, you're fine, you're fine. And they were like, what? <laughs> what was it gonna do? <laughs> Land skis first? Did you get a video or just a still? Oh, yeah, no, I got a video. Of it. Oh, you got the video yeah. of it? <laughs> Here it is here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Can we All right, see you guys. Hey, now you got that one out of your system, so you're good for a long time. I know. That's yeah. I, was, I was wondering where the first one crashed. <laughs> that's awesome. That's awesome. He didn't get hurt. At least he didn't go into the tree. One thing that I. Snowmobiling now. You want to go snowmobiling? Yeah. We could go up and rent them. <laughs> Remember what happened last time we did that? I didn't go, Bugs went. Oh yeah, you didn't go. Oh, it was me and Bugs, Bugs. Tommy, Jim. Oh. Who else? Paul. Paul, yep. All I remember is when we returned the sleds, we had thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of damage on the sleds. Oh my. <laughs> Tommy, Tommy crashed his snowmobile almost immediately. Really? Yeah, we just took off, we're going 70 miles an hour, like off the, just right away, we're going 70 miles an hour. I've never ridden snowmobiles before. I'm riding with these guys. We're going 70 on the trails. Oh. They go up, up over a hill, Tommy's snowmobile, I see it flipping, just rolling and rolling. Oh. 10 minutes in. Daryl and I are back here at Cracker Barrel. It was pretty good last time, so we came back for one more, one more meal. Thank you, thank you. I don't need a receipt. Have a good day. I'm back at Harbor Freight again. I know. That's I'm awesome. starting to warm up the Harbor Freight. But they have plenty of pretty good stuff in here. They do. It's not all junk. I mean, a lot of it is junk, let's just be honest. But a lot of it's pretty decent. Yeah. I used to have a really nice SADA spray gun. But I don't feel like dropping a $1,000 on a spray gun right now. And I no. saw these here at Harbor Freight for $239. They have a like a base coat gun and then they have a top coat gun. I think what I'm gonna do now is just is just buy the, the base coat gun and then just see how it works for primer tomorrow morning. And then if it works really good, then I'll buy the top coat gun too. I just don't want to buy a high-end gun, man. Oh, I I don't use them enough. No. You know what I mean? Oh, and I read all the reviews like people have the really nice guns uh -huh. and they'll buy these they're like they're really similar they can't tell the difference i was like man ah i guess i could give it a shot I'm, really I'm gonna pick up some epoxy primer and then some emron that's the stuff i used to use all, all the time is the emron oh yeah it's really durable paint this is like my fourth time here now. I'm starting to like this place. <laughs> you got it? Nope. Just don't drop the spray gun is the main thing. All right, see you later. I'll see you in the morning. What are we doing tomorrow? We're gonna go clean the bumper, paint the bumper. Yes, wire the lights. I might start wiring the lights, but then we gotta go to the snowmobile thing and do a live there. You want Junior to come do the live with us tomorrow, or? 
If he wants to, he can. He can come, man, but you got to tell him not to be so bossy. Oh, I know. He, he's, he's been, been bossing me he lately. He is. He's even bossing me, though. Oh, come on. Really? Really? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why he's... He really thinks he's the shop boss. <laughs> oh, jeez. I should get him a button-up, <sighs> like a mechanic's button-up shirt, you know? And then have embroidered in there, shop, shop boss, boss on a oh, patch. Oh, that would be cool. <laughs> All right, see you later. All right. All right, Daryl's out of here. So, I'm super tired. It's it's only 2.30. I mean, it was a short day. Well, I guess it was a 10 hour day. Um, but I'm going to run to, I got one more thing to do. I'm going to run to West Dallas and I'm going to buy some paint stuff. I'm going to buy some epoxy primer and then some paint and uh, some chemicals too, some thinner and some cleaner. And I don't know what else. I can't remember. I haven't painted in so many years. Oh, yeah. Well, this used to be where I got my paint stuff. And it no longer exists. <laughs> I guess it has been a while. And I just fought my way through traffic all the way here. All right, well, I'm going to have to find somewhere else to buy paint. The good news, I looked up um, Finish Master, which is where I am, and it looks like they moved to a new building not too far from here, so we might still be in luck today. We'll go check it out. Hi there. Can I help you? Hi. You said you had a question? Uh, yeah, so I haven't painted for a number of years and okay. I kind of forgot pretty much everything, not everything, but um, so I used to, I, I paint a lot of like truck stuff and uh, we used to use Imran um, and I don't remember like the blend we used to use. Um, is there different types of Imran? Well, if you bought Imran a number of years ago. Yeah, it was at least five years ago. It's no longer the same Imran anymore. Okay. They've changed everything. Okay. Due to the VOC regulations, sure. they've changed everything. If you use EA and you get the hardener, the hardener is now about 240 bucks a quart. Right. And the paint is about a thousand bucks a gallon. A thousand dollars a gallon? Yes, sir. Now, if you buy what they call the 3.5 HG, yeah. which is more similar to what the old Imran was, because yep. the new stuff is like ultra high solids, one and a half coats, yeah. walk away from it, you're done. The right. old stuff you used to put on two or three coats and you're yeah. good. This, they still make one similar to that. Yep. It's called 3.5 HG, which is which means high gloss, 50, 60 bucks for a quart. Yeah, and that's the, more like The it. paint is maybe 100 bucks for a Yeah, gallon. well, we'll go, we'll go with that then. Okay. <laughs> the other one doesn't sound right. Let me see what I got. I'll be right back. All right, sounds good. Thanks for your help, by the way. Oh, I know I have a lot of questions. No problem. Anytime. It's going to feel so good to paint something again. <laughs> it really is. You know how it is, right? Yeah, I haven't picked up a gun in a while myself. Yeah. yeah. So are you the boss man here then? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. All right, see you later. Take care. Thank you. Yes, I'm so happy. We are in business for tomorrow. It's gonna feel weird to paint again, but I've painted quite a, I don't know, I, I painted quite a few things. Several trucks I've painted. Um, a lot of equipment, ladder racks, all that stuff, but I painted vehicles too and uh, come out pretty nice. I mean, I'm by no means a professional, but I can get the job done. You know, it's just like, you know, like fabrication work, what I've been doing. I'm not a professional. I mean, I'm not teaching anybody how to do this stuff. Nobody taught me really. You just pick up stuff and you start learning and trying and you get good enough to get by. That's kind of where I am when it comes to all kinds of different things the only thing i really really know what i'm talking about for the most part is concrete all right that's it for today i'll see you guys in the morning and we'll be painting all right adios